Once in the G is variable. So how, how to manage? So what are the forces that are acting? Tension. <coughs> Where the weight of the rod should act? L is the length of the rod. Where the weight weight will not act through the midpoint. Will I agree? The effective G. The effective G is what you should calculate. The effective weight. So I'll I'll proceed like this. Sir. Let this be the. dw so what are the forces what about the so initial spelling just after cutting string initial tension the string is asking first we'll calculate initial tension other things and all so first we'll calculate the effective weight the effective bind force the bind force should act upward the the weight should act downward i and there will be reaction in the inch Uh, so shall we do one thing? So he has given the density of rod sigma no, that is the uniform, and the density of rod is two times of liquid. So definitely, I think the resultant weight should be downward. So here, at this particular point, bind force also will come. The resultant weight should be df downward. So what is the df? So the df will proceed with the df like this. The net bind force should be equal to df minus df. What is df? Sigma sigma into dm into g. What about the bind force? Rho into volume immersed. Volume immersed will be area of cross section dx into g. So for the dm dm, what you can write? A into dx. Okay, there is no problem. So definitely, what we can write sigma minus rho a dx into g. There is a method, and sigma is two times of that. So therefore, this will be two rho minus rho dpt. So no. So this will become only rho. What is rho? Rho is the density of water. <coughs> so a. So g dx. Now you bring that g into the picture. So what is g is equal to g not one plus x by l into dx. So rho a g not dx one by l x dx. So this is the bind force. So now this should be equal to how much? Zero to l. Zero to L, so this is a resultant force, huh? rho a g not L plus L square by two will become only L. So this will become rho a g not okay. This is a force that the resultant force <coughs> that will be acting downward, huh? So he's asking tension. So there'll be reaction at the inch. So we don't know that reaction at the inch. I'll take it that to be upward. R y. So the resultant force F is acting downward. But what is asking initial tension? This string. How to calculate? So here, what will happen? The torque set up by the tension and this force should be equal and opposite. Then only it's in equilibrium. This is about only force I brought. After getting this, I'm going to substitute it. I'll get the R y. the the problem has now started okay let's get into now let's go for the talk the net talk about o should be zero wall will set up talk the talk due to tension t into l anti clockwise then talk due to this resultant force It should be df into x t into l anti clockwise i'll take it positive clockwise let it be negative what is df again df again will be rho a g dx into x tl is equal to rho a g x dx 0 to n 
So rho A G L square by two. Or tension is equal to how much? Rho A G L by two. Oh, G G variable, no? So sorry, sorry, sorry. I do. I forgot G. G is a variable. Okay, next step, it will be T into L. Rho A, G is what? G naught 1 plus X by L. X DX 0 to L. Yeah. Now, T into L is equal to Rho A, G naught. Uh, this will be x dx 0 to l 1 by l x square dx 0 to l l square by 2 l square by 3 rho a phi rho a g naught l square by 6 Finally, tension is equal to how much? Phi rho A G naught L by 6. Now, now what will happen? I'll equate for equilibrium. Ry plus T. Ry plus T. Minus total. <coughs> Mass of the rod is M. Mm -hmm. In terms of mass also, we can express here. Mm -hmm. This should be the M, M, again, G is variable, no? So, so we will directly write it here. Yeah? This should be F equal to zero. <coughs> Okay, what, what is the reaction? Now tension we brought it. In terms of rho A G naught, I'm bringing it, answer. Again, again, if you want, sir, how to bring in terms of M. So Ry plus T minus F that one. So here, the reaction is the, the tension we got it. I think initial tension is the So reaction. So we're not able to hear you, sir. No, no. Okay. Yes, sir. Now it's okay. Sir. Okay. Sir. You see that a final answer I'm bringing in terms of things. Sir. Sigma A L. Sigma is what density, no? Area of cross section of the rod is A. So that will become 
this one. So like this, what happened? We got the tension. A little bit lengthy. He has uh, made a lot of twist here. And just after cutting, uh, will I agree this? So from where I, uh, so what shall I do? The row, what happened? I'm replacing this one. No, uh, just after cutting the string. So with this, you can calculate the reaction at the inch also. How to calculate the reaction at the inch after this? Ry plus T total force, let it be here, equal to zero. You can calculate the reaction at the inch. I'll make it small. I think total quotient visible, see it carefully. So what is Ry? Ry will be reaction at the inch. After this, just after cutting the string, angular acceleration of the rod. How to bring this? What all torque? Torque will be set up by only this one. No? The, this resultant force only will set up a torque. So angular acceleration, it should be equal to D torque should be equal to DF into X. Zero to L. So calculate this. I think, can you work out this one? Just you have to integrate. Don't substitute F. DF only substitute. Then substitute also G variable. Then you have to calculate. After getting this torque, this torque should be equal to angular acceleration should be equal to torque by moment of inertia. What is moment of inertia? ML square by three. No, again, where all that rho is there, no, rho A L naught. You have to write in terms of sigma, then you have to solve it. So that, that M gets eliminated. Can you work out? I'll, I'll proceed to the next concept. Option C will come if you solve it. How to calculate torque? Okay, and we'll show it. So we are at the end. No. No. Okay, this will be rho a g dx into x zero to l. Now further, this torque is equal to rho a g and g is what g naught Okay, simplify this. So this everything will come rho A G naught outside, then integral of X DX zero to L one by L X square DX zero to L. Solve it, you'll get the torque that you substitute, you'll get the angular acceleration. Okay, fine. Can you do calculation? I'll, I'll proceed to the next one. Huh? Different types, uh, just only to make you aware of different conditions here. Hmm? Okay, we'll see the next one. Hmm? Okay, read the question now. 